Though the idea of XRP hitting $10,000 might seem far-fetched, recent events in the European Union could very well set the stage for such a scenario. Just a couple of days back, France's central bank made headlines with its release, considering XRP as a foundation for their digital euro. Interestingly, France isn't alone in this conversation. There have been murmurs and indications from other EU countries pointing towards this shift for quite some time. Moreover, the overarching Digital Euro Association covering all EU nations has broadcasted Ripple's major involvement in their central bank digital currency innovation discussions. Furthermore, numerous sources have underscored Ripple's hefty input to the Digital Euro Association's recent white paper. Today, we're delving deep into the reasons propelling XRP surge. With the news that's unfolding, there's a buzz around XRP possibly skyrocketing to a staggering $10,000 or more in a relatively short time frame. Buckle up, you won't want to miss what's coming. As always, welcome back to Moneyside, your go-to spot for everything XRP connected. Remember to give that like button a quick click, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on those notifications. Sharing this video helps spread the word, so we'd value that too. With that out of the way, let's dive right in. Firstly, the embrace of XRP by a heavyweight like France says volumes. It shows not only how useful XRP could be, but also how digital currencies are changing in the world of traditional banking. When global countries like the European Union think about making this kind of change, a bigger picture of the way the wave of digital currencies is moving is shown. In the past, a lot of people doubted the usefulness of digital currencies, but now the story is changing. And Ripple's part in it? It's not just taking part. They have a big say in how digital currencies will work in the future in Europe. Their important work on the Digital Euro Association's white paper is just one example of how dedicated they are to making the digital financial world more linked. Everyone has read Arthur Brito's bold statement. He is one of the founders of Ripple Labs. He has stated with confidence that XRP was designed from the start to be worth at least $10,000 and that it will reach this goal once it goes global. We've talked about this subject a lot of times before, but the story begins to make more sense as we get closer to global scale. This means that the coin will continue to be valuable as XRP's reach grows. But let's get into the details first before we go any further. It's important to remember how important it is when someone as important as Arthur talks about the future of their work. There is a lot of interest in crypto right now. His guess about what will happen with XRP is not just a guess. It comes from a deep understanding of how XRP could change the world. He doesn't just see XRP as a short-term way to make money. Instead, he sees it as a key part of changing the very foundations of international banking. We can all agree that this kind of comment is taken more seriously when it comes from an expert in the field. But if it comes from the co-founder of Ripple Labs, from the point of view of someone who worked on its creation and designed the XRP system, it's a big deal. There are a lot of different assets in the world of digital currencies, and each one has its own features and benefits. In this busy market, XRP stands out because it has strong ties to Ripple Labs and is built on strong infrastructure. The main goal of any digital currency is not just to exist, but to solve real problems in the financial world. In the creation of XRP, as Arthur Brito says, in perfect line with this goal, there's more to it than just a coin. Making cross-border deals easier, faster, and cheaper is what this tool is meant to do. Ripple's partnerships and collaborations with major financial players around the world also point in the direction of Brito's big goal. Prices going up and down in the short term don't matter, what matters is how XRP fits into and helps the global economy in the long run. We're seeing a wave of acceptance every day, and Ripple is really becoming an unstoppable force in the financial world. With all the attention on the fact that France's central bank is looking at Ripple's XRP for their digital euro project, the future looks bright for XRP. This piece talks about two things. First, France's strong desire to use XRP for its digital euro. Second, Ripple's growing presence in the gaming industry, which could potentially be combined with Ixold's operations. 
On top of that, the National Bank of Georgia has identified Ripple as a possible front-runner for their CBDC project. Showing the company's growing reach around the world. It's possible that France would have made a different decision, but the European Union as a whole seems to be on Ripple's side. The fact that the Digital Euro Association, which is made up of all EU countries, confirmed that Ripple was added to their group and was actively taking part in the CBDC Innovation Challenge is proof of this. But this is really just the tip of the iceberg. New information shows that Ripple had a big impact on the DEA's new Digital Euro white paper. At the center of talks about the digital currency from the central bank. Tony Ralphs, Ripple's director of CBDC product management, is credited as a key addition to the Digital Euro Association's recently released white paper, which is another feather in their cap. Today, Ripple shared an important development through a tweet and a blog post that went with it. As more and more central banks around the world look into and use central bank digital currencies CBDCs, this message stressed that privacy issues in these operations are becoming very important. A new white paper from the Digital Euro Association DA, goes into great detail about this subject and shows how CBDCs and user privacy are connected. This reminds me of something related James said. James is a well-known person at Ripple and one of its leaders. He had earlier said that an amazing 30-plus countries were about to announce their own CBDCs, which could use the XRP ledger, and that they would do so within the next few months. This revelation led to a lot of questions. One that really interested me was the one about the EU population count. From what I've learned, the European Union is made up of 20 countries. However, there is a twist, two more countries are waiting in queue to join, and Georgia is one of them. It's interesting that Georgia saw the Ripple Alliance as a possible candidate for their CBDC project, which fits with the goals of their state bank. Georgia has been surprisingly thinking about the pros and cons of joining the EU. The digital age, with its promise of easy integration, is a tempting idea for Georgia. To work with the EU's digital goals while still retaining its financial independence. With this addition, our total number of countries has reached 29, including the 28 EU members in Georgia, which could become a member. There's more, though. Ukraine looks like it will be the 30th country to work on CBDC creation with the XRP ledger in mind. The country has made its EU ambitions clear, showing that it has already met two of the seven requirements needed to start talks with the EU about joining. It's clear that they want to join the bloc. Several things make us optimistic about XRP's huge value potential. It's clear that Europe's widespread acceptance is a big reason for this. Even so, Ripple's proactive method can't be ignored. The company has been strategically moving into a wide range of businesses and working with many companies. All of this is done to increase the chances of adoption. This strong push for broad integration is exactly what's needed. The fact that there isn't much supply and demand for XRP is making it possible for its value to rise. Please keep in mind that I'm not a licensed financial manager. The information in these movies is only meant to be entertaining. Before making any financial decisions, I always tell my viewers to do their own study and talk to professionals. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to hit the follow button and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you turn on alerts so you know right away when I post something new. In the next movie, I can't wait to catch up with you. Be careful.